Hey, what's going on guys? This is Amir Hussain and you are watching Trick I Know YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Kali Linux on a laptop and also in a desktop without losing the existing Windows 10, without losing any data and without using any third-party softwares. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will show you how exactly you can dual boot Kali Linux and Windows 10 in a same computer. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. For example, I have this desktop PC with Windows 10 installed on it and here is a laptop which also have Windows 10. In each system, there are tons of important data stored on it, which I don't want to lose. To install Kali Linux on your system, you may have a risk to lose your important data because the installation is a little bit confusing. A small mistake will let your data destroyed in seconds. If you don't want to lose any single bit of your important data, then the safest way is go get a separate hard drive for your Kali Linux installation. This is the cheap 120GB SSD. This is a fast drive and enough for a OS like Kali Linux. Now let's start with my laptop. If you remember it have two hard drives. The first one is the WD240GB SSD with Windows 10 and software installed on it. And the second drive is my data hard drive which is installed in a second hard drive caddy. If you don't know what the HDD caddy is, check out my previous video from the i button or the video description. Now let's see how to set up the laptop for the installation. The first thing you have to do, just remove the battery out of the laptop. Open up the back cover to find the internal hard drive. Once you got it, unscrew it and take it out of the laptop. If you have any extra data hard drive on your laptop, take it out as well. Now keep those hard drive in a safe place. Now take out your new SSD. If you don't have, order a new one from the link in the video description. To dual boot your laptop, you will need a caddy also to install the new SSD as a secondary drive. Once you got these, replace it with the DVD-ROM. Now plug the laptop's battery back. So we successfully installed the new SSD and our windows and data drives are resting on the table. Now you will need a bootable USB drive. Check my previous video for the tutorial. Once you made it, plug it to the laptop. Now turn on the laptop and quickly press the boot menu key of the laptop to open the boot menu. In the boot menu, select the USB drive and hit enter. Now here is the Kali Linux setup and it's ready for the installation. Now let's see how to set up a desktop for the installation. First you have to turn off your PC, then unplug all power connections and open the case. Now here again the story is same. I have 1 TB SSD for Windows and softwares. So I will unplug it out of the desktop. In secondary I have a 8 TB of SATA hard drive. So I'm gonna also unplug it. In this hard drive there are so many important data stored on it. So I will put them in a secure place. Now same as laptop we have to plug our new SSD to the PC. Now just plug the power and the SATA cable to the SSD, then put the SSD to the SSD bracket. Now take out the bootable USB drive and plug it in the USB port of your desktop. Now turn on the desktop, then quickly press the boot menu key to open the boot menu. In the boot menu, select the Kali Linux bootable USB drive and hit enter. Now here is the Kali Linux setup ready to install. Now let's see how to install Kali Linux on a new SSD. Next you have to do keep on graphical install and hit enter. Here you have to select the language and hit enter. Now select your country here. Keyboard select American English. Now here you have to configure the network going with the wireless adapter. Now select your home Wi-Fi and hit enter. 
to enter the Wi-Fi password select the second one now enter your Wi-Fi password here in the host name keep the default Kali and hit enter in domain name leave it blank and hit enter now here it will ask your full name I will do Kali space man after that hit enter now it will ask you a username with lowercase letters so I will do Kali man without any space and hit enter now here you have to create a password make sure to write it down in any page because it will ask you in the login once you did it hit enter now select your time zone and go next force uefi installation no so here as you know we are using a new ssd there are no files on it so guys we are not going with the manual partitioning method we will go through the guided use entire disk process select it and hit enter now guys here you will see two drives don't be confused because this is the ssd we are using and this is the bootable usb drive so select the ssd and hit enter now here you don't have to mess with the partitioning scheme just select the first option all files in one partition and hit enter now what just happened here Kali Linux created two partitions on our SSD a swap partition and a primary partition now next you have to do click on finish partitioning and hit enter now it will ask the following partitions will be formatted which was created by the Kali Linux select yes and hit enter After a few minutes it will ask you for software selection so keep it default or you can try this genome mode also this is a cool mode for Kali Linux just check it and hit the continue button now default display manager select the first one and continue now here you will see the bootloader select yes and continue here you have to select your ssd select your ssd and hit enter so finally guys our setup is completed now the last thing we have to do just hit the continue button now it will restart itself and in the next start you will see your kali linux login page now enter the password which you set in the setup and now we are here the kali linux desktop is ready to use here is the terminal guys here you can do all the hacking stuffs and make sure guys you will do white hat hacking don't do black hat hacking because it's illegal there are so many softwares are already installed on this operating system enjoy learn and do good stuffs now one thing I would like to mention guys the sound will not work by default you have to open settings in the sound settings just change the output device to your main speaker do this if you are having a sound problem now moreover we have a Mozilla Firefox already installed on it so we can browse the internet and also we can watch YouTube on YouTube if you search Kali Linux bootable USB drive following by the trick I know then you will find my video to how to make a Kali Linux bootable USB drive. Today I am going to show you the super easiest way that how you can make a Kali Linux bootable USB drive. So that's it guys. I installed Kali Linux on my laptop and on my desktop also. Now let's see how to dual boot Windows 10 and Kali Linux. Just plug the Windows 10 hard drive on the laptop as it was before. Plug the desktop Windows 10 hard drive. Also plug the desktop data hard drive and plug the connectors. Now if you turn on your desktop, you will see the desktop is booting the Windows 10 as default. And if you go to the my computer, 
you will see only the windows 10 and the data drive the kali linux drive is missing and that is a good thing because no one will interfere with the kali linux drive it's good to be a secret to access the kali linux all you have to do just restart your pc press the boot menu key to open the boot menu in the boot menu, you will see the first one is my 1TB Samsung SSD and the second one is the Kingston 120GB SSD and the third one is the data hard drive. Just select your Kali Linux hard drive and go on. Now you can see guys the system is loading the Kali Linux. Now suppose you are doing hacking and someone knocks the door. All you have to do just simply turn off the computer or restart it. In the next start or restart, the Windows 10 will open up. So no one can know your little secret. <laughs> Same in the laptop. If you turn on your laptop, it will open up with the Windows 10. To access the Kali Linux, just restart your laptop and press the boot menu key to open the boot menu. In the boot menu, select the Kali Linux hard drive and hit enter. It will open up the Kali Linux on your laptop and you are good to go. You can also change your boot drive. Just open the BIOS setup and go to boot tab and make your Kali Linux drive the first boot device. Follow the on screen instructions to change it and then save changes and exit the BIOS. The same thing you can do on the PC also. It's depend upon your choice. But in laptop, you can't use the data hard drive anymore. But actually you can. Just make it an external hard drive using the Transcend 3.0 external case. I will leave a link in the video description. So guys that was my video on how to install Kali Linux on a laptop or a PC without losing Windows 10. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you in my next video.